Mkisima cha utakaso na hiyo mbegu inapata maji. Inapata maji basi inaweza kuota. Inaanza kuota ndani ya hiyo kisima na ina, inaota inakuwa inaanza kufanya kazi ya uh, pasta ye, uh, yungi yungi. Ah, kule nyikani anakuwa ni pasta yungi yungi. Maneno yote machafu yenyewe uh, Paulo alifanya kuwa watoto wa Mungu, hiyo yote mizizi yote ina katwa kule na kuunganishwa huko juu kwa sababu shetani hakuumba mzizi hata moja wa zambi haukuumbwa na shetani eh? mizizi ni mizizi ya Mungu yeye anakuja anayaribu anayaribu anasema inakuwa yake sasa Mungu anakuja kubeba mizizi yake na kuirudisha kuna moto foundation nipenda kusoma tu kwamba uh, Petro uh, wakati alikuwa bado hajaingia mukisima mu, uh, cha utakaso alikuwa anachanganikiwa wakati aliingia mukisima cha utakaso uh, uh, kabla kuingia kisima cha utakaso alikuwa amechanganikiwa kwa nini kwa sababu mstari wa na tisa wa fundamental foundation unasema nyoka alikuwa ndani yake kwa sababu nyoka anakaa pale kwenyewe zambi haijatubiwa kwenye kuna zambi bado kutubu hiyo zambi inakuwa ni nyumba ya nyoka na huyu nyoka wakati e, yeye aliingia mkisima cha utakaso e, yungi yungi aka akajenga sasa mzizi wa Yesu na e, nguvu ya Yesu ikaingia ndani yake 44 unisome hiyo 44 fundamental foundation Uh, nguvu ya Mungu ikajaa ndani yake 44 akawa sasa anakuwa uh, uh, contact point uh, point of contact mahali pa mawasiliano eh uh, mahali pa mawasiliano kati ya wagonjwa na Mungu uh, na wakati aliongea na Yesu atasema ondoka mbele yangu shetani alikuwa ni point ya mawasiliano kati ya shetani na Yesu. Na Yesu akaona hiyo akasema ondoka hapa. Unisome hiyo 44. They apostle Peter and his shadow passing over the sick. Ah, mtume Petro na kipindi chake kupita juu ya wagonjwa. Never heard them. Haiku, hakikuwa ponya. No the shadow wala kile kivuli hakikuwa ponya. By their faith in the, the in the apostle kwa imani yao juu ya yule mtume it was their up, uh, it was their point of contact to get to god ilikuwa ni mahali pa mawasiliano kumpata mungu sisi tunapaswa kuwa mahali ya tunapaswa kuwa waya la mawasiliano kati ya kondoo na mungu sasa ni sababu hiyo hatupashwe kuvutwa na vitu vya dunia eh hatupashwe kuvutwa na vitu vya dunia Uh, kwanza uh, kuvaa uh, suruali na hapa unakuwa unatembea hivi eh? na unakuja sana nataka nihubiri utahubiri nini utahubi mzizi wako kule chini eh? haiwezekane unafuta na vitu vingine uh, uh, twende ujumbe ufatao ni uh, ni uh, uh, brushing prophet ni kusema pasta niliona hapa Ibrahim Prophet ni mwana pasta chidai eh? mwenyewe ana anahangaika anaomba Mungu Mungu utupatie ufunuo wa kitu fulani wa kitu fulani wa kitu fulani Mungu na ni hivyo pasta anapaswa kufanya Amen. na Brana anasema Mungu hawezi hawezi kufunga masikio Mungu mwenyewe atashuka Amen. na atampatia majibu ya yale yote yeye anapenda kusikia. Amen. Uh, soma. And when you see uh, you see a servant of God get so sincere. Na unapoona mtumishi wa Mungu anakuwa mnyofu sana mm. till he is on his face with his hands in the air. Akiwa na nyuso yake na mikono yake ya hewani. And praying to God. Akiomba Mungu. And the blushing. Na Rujira na kwa ulashi nini? Nikakusumbuka. Nikakubujika. And the blushing because the iniquity. My blushing wazungu wanakuwa mwekundu. Okay. Ah, anakuwa mwekundu no blushing. Ah. 
na sisi hatuwezi kuwa wakundu lakini and the flashing because they need to tell the people <laughs> then you are going to see a revival <laughs> in the presence of God a church cannot stay in the presence of God under repentance unless the Holy Spirit comes down and gives action and the power to start a move a move of God in, in there among, the, among those people just go to be just go to be Unajua wakati mtu anatubu hapa tena anajua kwa hivi sasa narudi tena. Bado inaruta wewe unafanya nini? Unafanya nini? Wakati unatubu hapa. Unaona mwingine anafika, "Oh, mimi nakuja kutubu zambi." Unabakia uko bwima. Unasimama. Sasa au au sikitike. Eh? Haujishushe. Wewe mtu na zambi, unapasha kujishusha. Unafika hapo unapiga magoti. Eh? Una huku mwanzo na ni pasta hili wakati aliamini e, siku moja alipaswa kutubu akapita mbele akasema wao kabla ya kutubu nataka niimbe kwanza kamwimbo kando na mbe hapana hapana hauwezi kuimba biblia inasema inasema mwenye kuwa na furaha aimbe sasa wewe unaoje kwa furaha unapaswa kusikitika sasa hiyo unavunja yote yote unapenda kufanya unavunja hiyo Amen. Eh, tu What you need is a revival. We put it on plaster on. We put it on plaster on. Tunabandika plaster hapo juu. Eh, kwa kivimbo, kwa kivimba kadogo, eh? Mule ndani mko uchafu, wewe unafinika hapa na plaza ndio mahubiri ya kufunika eh twende what we need is a revival lakini tunachohitaji ni ufufuo kuputa ya kone plaza on tunaweka plaza juu yake take them off na kuziondoa another con plaza tunaweka tena plaza nyingine take it off na kuiondoa and they still find the pain in there na bado kuona uchungu uko pale what we need today kidonda kiko pale kidonda kitunzwe ukafika kwa daktari atakipasua eh kupaka hapana weka plaster amina ni kupasua kutosha uchafu weka alcohol na kuweka nani antiseptic amina what we need today kila tunahitaji leo hii is no social regeneration sio uzazi wa watu familia social regeneration unaona kule kongo tunakuwa na social regeneration message ni kusema tuko na pasta moja kule anapata watu elfu kumi na tano kila siku ya kuabudu elfu kumi na tano mwingine ana elfu thelathini sasa wanapata pesa nyingi mamilioni na mamilioni sasa hiyo hiyo ni nini ni social regeneration eh mamilioni mingi anauza gari nzuri eh ni uh, social regeneration haiambatani hai, hai na mambo ya Mungu na uh, kinyumba kizuri magorofa tatu eh, watu wanakuja mule ah, ah, na wapagani wanasema ah huyu pasta kweli eko na Mungu hapana <laughs> sio Mungu Amen. sio Mungu Mungu Yesu alijengaka wapi Yesu hakujenga nyumba hata moja na hakuna mtume hata moja mwenye alijenga sikiteza watu kaka hapa tunasikia uso ya mavi jo vile Yesu Yesu alizaliwa kwa zizi la ngombe ndio vizuri mimi napenda hapo tuendelee amina what you need today is not a social generation or generation kile tunachohitaji leo sio uzazi tu wa kijamii It's not intellectual talks. Sio maumbili ya kiakili. What we need today is Ki... an old fashioned old fashioned. Kile tunachohitaji ni ule mtindo wa kale. God sent blood transfusion from heaven. Mungu anatuma eh, ule eh, kusafishia damu kutoka kwa mbinguni. The only pastor won't do no good. 
kuweko plus haita kusaidia. We are anemia. Sisi tumeshafikia mahali ambapo tumelemana ugonjwa. We need a blood transfusion. Tunahitaji kubadilishwa damu. We need to come back to the old fashioned gospel. Inabidi turudi kwenye injili ya mtindo wa kale. That calls out for repentance before God. Itasababisha toba tena. And the not a dry eye it then shoot. Sio macho makavu na kupeana mikono. Ah, macho makavu nafika hapa. Bwana mimi nakuja kudumu zambi kama ile siku na ilikuwa hivi na hivi hivi na hivi namna gani unapaswa kulia kwa sababu hapa eh, blood trans transfusion eh? kubadilisha damu kubadilisha damu ni kusema hii mishipa hii mishipa ilikuwa na damu ya nyoka sasa wakati inakatwa huku inabidi tutoshe damu ya nyoka yote itoke huyu mshipa wende huku upate damu ya Yesu na hiyo inafanywa katika kisima cha utakaso ni hiyo anasema blood transfusion tuendelee 32 Kwa nafasi ya siri ya transition blood transition. Yes. Okay. Hiyo ni nzuri sana. Ina, inabidi kupata blood transition. Wakati wewe unatubu hapa. Eh, unatubu kama ni wizi tena ama uongo. Uongo unakurudia tena. Haujapata blood transfusion. Hiyo damu ya nyoka bado inaliko ndani yako. Ni sababu unarudia na kama ukirudia hivi bila kufanya kifungo bila kumomba pasta akuongoze itakuwa ni ilikuwa ni pepo kumi inakuwa semanini ili mara ya tatu inakuwa mia sita arobaini mara ya ya ine inakuwa elfu elfu ine mia nane inaendelea mpaka pale itazidia elfu kumi na baada ya hapo utasema ah mimi naona mambo yenu kule ya bure ya pasa chidai kule misipedi tena ni mambo ya haina na faida hapana unafikia elfu kumi eh, pepo elfu kumi inakuwa ndani yako ndio sababu unaanza kuzarau ah, ni shetani unasema ndani yako sio mungu endelea a not a dry eye behind shook profession na sio maungamo ya jicho kangu na kutubu But you go send Holy Ghost revival. Lakini utakwa ufufuo ambao umetumwa na Roho Mtakatifu kitu cha kusafisha kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo ndani yake. Into every human heart. Katika kila moyo wa mwanadamu. We need the revival to start in the church. Tunahitaji ufufuo kuanza kanisani. And sweep the nation across. Na uendelee kwenye taifa lote. We will die. Tutakufa. We will perish. Tutapotea. We are gone tumekwisha without that type of revival bila aina hiyo ya ufufuo i am so sick and tired of seeing little pet hollywood revivals nimechoka kuona ufufuo za za hollywood watu wanasema ndugu kwa kule kwetu revival kabisa kabisa manake mungu amechemka amechemka siku mbili siku tatu unasahau sio hivyo anasema revival ni kuanzia hapa segerea kufagia segerea kufagia dar es salaam kufagia taifa lote kwa sababu ni mke wa Yesu wa taifa la Tanzania ni kusema ni 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 kuchemsha kufagia taifa lote la Tanzania kukusanya watoto wa Mungu Where people come in and they get emotionally stirred up for a couple of hours. Ambapo watu wanakuja na kupata misimuko na kutulia pale kwa masaa kadhaa. And oh a day or two. Au siku mbili au tatu. Oh a week or two. Au juma moja au juma mbili. And they go out and that's all of it. Na wanaenda huko basi ndio imekwisha. Brother, ndugu, you can be in a worked up by a revival. Unaweza ku changamishwa na ufufuo you can have emotion you can have good intentions all those things are fine but we don't need that today we need the baptism of the holy spirit to change the emotion na baptizo kwa roho mtakatifu ni blood transfusion ni blood transfusion 
wakati unapata hiyo damu ya Yesu ya nyoka imeondoka hauwezi tena kukasirika uh, asira ni damu ya nyoka uongo ni damu ya nyoka Wisharati ni damu ya nyoka. Unaona eh, msio na ile tabia na unaka Kongo ya eh, wadada na wa, wa, na ndugu. Unaona ndugu anaikuwa anaongea na dada. Eh hey, to pale hivi na hivi. Eh odi karibu. Eh ndugu alisafiri. Sasa ndio alisafiri. Ah. Nipatie nipatie maji ya kunywa. Kuna maji ya baridi. Sasa ndugu yako hayuko. Yeah. Wewe sasa unataka kukaa kuna ufanye nini? Mtaongea nini? Sio sawa. Mtaongea nini? Eh? Unafika unakaa. Sasa wakati yeye anataka kusonga ugali, uko pale mbele yake. Uko na gari vikombe vile vinaenda huko, vinaenda huko. Sasa unaongea vitu gani unajichafua kule? Misa. Haiwezekane. Yes sir. Mwanamke hawezi kuongea na Bwana si kwa bwana yake. Kweli kabisa. Eh? Kuna pita njani. Dada jambo Jambo sana. Habari gani? Habari asubuhi nzuri. Dada unaenda wapi? Ah? <laughs> Tunafanya program pamoja na wewe na mimi. Eh? Unanisalimia. Nakusalimia. Mmekwisha. Program zangu haikuangalia ni mmeoa na mimi. Hatuwezi kukaa mko mnajichafua. Mnavutwa na hiyo ni mitego ya shetani kwa kuvuta watoto wa Mungu sure sana wa kwe connect huko endelea and the intellect and the intellect na wakiakili and the and the view na kuona the habits zile tabia the life of the people maisha ya watu and pull them back on the right road again na kuingiza tena kwenye barabara ile ile outside of outside the blood transfusion from calvary nje ya ile badisho damu kwa calvary all of our reformation won't do any good at all na tengenezo wetu yote hata tusaidie chochote mm-hmm. uh, tusome christ is the mystery uh, revealed of god a Kristo ni siri ya Mungu iliyofunguliwa. Mm. Eh, eh, wa 59. Uh, ndugu Brahman anasema hivi. Kwa kusema uunganishwe uwe na masi, mawasiliano na kisima. Ya kwanza kisima kinyewe kichimbwe. Uh, kisima kiko hapa. Uh, ndugu Chidai amesha kupata blood transfusion. Amekuwa ye naye anakuwa sasa kisima anakuwa chemchemi jinsi Yesu alimwambia ule mwanamke kumsamaria kwamba maji nitakupatia ukayanywa na wewe utakuwa chemchemi ni kusema yeye anakuwa chemchemi anakuwa point of contact Amen. Amen. Ah, anakuwa waya la kuunganisha anakuwa bomba bomba eh, la kuunganisha watoto wa Mungu na uh, muti wa uzima wa milele sasa ni kwa sababu ya nini hiyo mizizi hiyo mizizi njoo yenyewe inajenga imani wakati mzizi unaunganishwa na zimu kuzimu unaunganishwa na kuzimu wanaita incredulité eh? kutokuamini ni kutokuamini njoo kunaunganisha hiyo mizizi ndani ya mizizi muna damu ya kutokuamini sasa wakati hii mizizi inaunganishwa huku inakuwa mizizi ya imani amen ndio imani sasa inakuunganisha kule sasa ndugu bro bro anasema wakati umeshapata imani imani utaipata wakati unapata ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu ni wakati ule unapata blood transfusion na anasema wakati huo ukiwa unaomba kitu omba mpaka pale Mungu atakupatia amen kama uliomba uh, bicycle Unapata kengele. Unasema ah basi Mungu asante. Eh basi napata kengele. Hapana. Amina. Ha? Brana anasema hivyo. Eh anasema hapana. Iko ni mjumbe gani? Eh 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 ama tutapia tu. Kuna vitu vingine vya kusoma vya haraka kwa sababu muda umekwenda. Umekwisha. Hapana. Uh, Huko na imani. Umwambie Mungu ni nini kinyewe sijatengeneza ni zambi gani sijatengeneza ili unipatie kengele badala ya bicycle eh unionyeshe uzani unionyeshe uzani 
atakuonesha atakuonesha zambi na utatengeneza hata kupatia bicycle Uh, Christ is the mystery of God revealed. I'm seeing a Hello, I'm seeing a The five senses only contact with this world. Isi tano zina wasiliana tu na ulimwengu huu. If you have no feeling, kama ukuwa na hisia ya kugusa, you couldn't feel nothing. Uweze kugusa, uweze kusikia chochote. Unajua hisi tano inakuunganisha na udongo, ardhi, unakuunganisha na wakati, unakuunganisha na uh, uh, nuru, eh? Nuru inakuunganisha na uh, na fecus eh? na eh? iyo viwango uh, ine vya ulimwengu hizi hizi tano zinakuunganisha tu na viwango ine vya ulimwengu vine viwango vine vya ulimwengu sasa haiwezekane upate ufunuo bila kuwa na isi la sita ni isi la sita ndio linyewe tunapewa kama vile mbegu ni mbegu hiyo mbegu wakati itaota humo uh, mukisima itatakasa uh, itachimba itatosha uchafu kwa jinsi uh, iunganishwe uko juu inakuwa sasa imani imani huja kwa kusikia uh, kwa kusikia na wakati unasikia un, ni nini kinyo unasikia Imani inakuja kwa kusikia. Ni nini kinyeo unasikia? Uh, unasikia kama wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu. Uh, kama ni mtoto wa Mungu napaswa nifate sherehe ya Mungu nikabatizwe. Uh, na ninapaswa kwa kwa, kwa chana na vi, ma, vivutio vyote vya dunia niachane navyo nianze kuvutiwa tu paka na neno la Mungu. Ah uh, ndio yeye anasema uh, uh, I'm sitting Now there is another one called faith. Sasa kuna nyingine inaitwa imani. But by faith you walk up a ladder. Lakini kwa imani unatembea unapanda ngazi. And finally you can be ngazi gani? Ngazi ya Yakobo. Eh, ukiwa na imani, hiyo imani ilijengwa ndani ya katika ngazi ya Yakobo na nini nataka kukupandisha rudi hapa pale? Now there is another one called faith. Lakini sasa kuna hisi nyingine inaitwa imani. But by faith you walk up a ladder. Lakini kwa imani unapanda ngazi. And finally you can get so high until you break into another world. Na hatimaye unaweza kupanda juu sana mpaka unaingia kwenye ulimwengu mwingine. Which is a vision. Ambayo ni maono. Ulimwengu mwingine ni ulimwengu wa Mungu. Eh ulimwengu wa Mungu imani inakupanda ni waya inakupandisha linaweleta mawasiliano kati yako wewe na mbingu ya Mungu uh, ya kufatia ndio eh uh, victory apana suma kwanza providing healing god providing healing of this generation ponyaji uliotolewa na Mungu kwa ajili ya kizazi eh, kwa sababu pale ndugu Brana anaonesha wakati imani inakupandisha katika ngazi ya Yakobo Muna nini mule ndani? Mule ndani ya Yesu, mula ya jabu, isiyo na mwisho. Kule wanaimba kai huku hivi. Sawa pindo. Eh eh eh. Haleluya. Mule ndani ya Yesu. Tunaingia ndani ya Yesu na imani, waya la imani. Mizizi likatwa kule uh, kuzimu inaunganishwa huko inakuwa sasa imani. Wakati tunaingia tunaanzia ina level ina viwango ngazi ina viwango uh, tofauti. Unaanza kiwango cha chini wakati unabatizwa huko kiwango cha chini pamoja na nyama mbuzi na wote sawa sawa na uh, uh, meli ya nani ya Noah. Sawa. Kiwango cha kwanza. Unahesabiwa sawa na nyama tu. Eh, sasa 
Sasa kuna kiwango cha pili wakati unazaliwa mara ya pili. Unapita kiwango cha juu cha kuzaliwa mara ya pili. Kisha kuna kiwango cha ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu na unafika hapa. Unafika hapa. Sasa mule ndani hamuna tu wokovu kusema kwamba unafika mbinguni. Muna vitu vyote viko mule ndani. Baraka zote ziko mule ndani ni hiyo ndio brana mnafasiria. The troubles Christian today tatizo leo Kristo they don't realize what is provided for them. Hawajui nini kilichotolewa kwa ajili yao. Many people doesn't realize that the great glories the, and, and power that's provided for them. Watu wengi hawajui utukufu mwingi na nguvu ambazo Mungu amewapa. Coming to Jesus Christ is like walking into the open down here. Kuja kwa Bwana Yesu ni kama kutembea kwenye supermarket. Aka ni 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 uh, duka kubwa sana lenye kuwa na magorofa sijui ishirini ama mia moja down here all a great department store au katika duka la vifaa vingi if somebody give me a great department store kama mtatalipa duka lile lenye vifaa vingi hapa hapa dar es salaam kuna duka kubwa sana linaitwa city mlimani city mlimani city asa hilo duka yesu ni mlimani city sijui mara milioni una una viwango vingi mule ndani and told me this is all yours akasema hii yote ni yako well vyema the first thing i will do kitu cha kwanza nitakachofanya i want to walk around in there and found out na nitataka kutembea mle ndani na kugundua found out what i own kugundua nini ni miliki yangu eh si si tabona wakati wa kuvutiwa na vitu vingine nitavutiwa na huyo mlima city yangu iko ma, mi, mara milioni sitakuwa na wakati wa kumaliza kufanya visit ha napaswa kupita humu kupita humu kupita humu kupita humu sina wakati wa kwenda kuangalia football sina wakati wa kwenda kunywa pombe ama kuongea na watu vitu vingine niko na kitu kikubwa tu nimepewa amina what was mine nini ni changu And that's the way it is in Christ. Na hivyo ndio ilivyo katika Kristo. When you become a Christian, unapokuwa Mkristo, walk around. Unatembea huko na huko. Find out what you own. Gundua kile nini unamiliki. What's yours? Nini mali yako? All things are yours. Vitu vyote ni vyako. Given to you freely. Vimetolewa kwa kubure. Everything that Christ died for is yours. Kila kitu Kristo alichofia ni chako. Every one of you. Kila mmoja wenu. And you uh, you have got a checkbook with na, Jesus name signed across. Na una kitabu kile cha cheki na saini ya Yesu imeshawekwa. Mm. And so na inasema whatever you send this check to the father chochote kile utajaza kupeleka kwa baba hii cheki whatever you ask the father in my name chochote utamuuliza baba kwa jina langu that how you do hicho ndafanya you are just scared to fill it out na hope tu yakufanya kujaza kile kitabu that's all hiyo ndio yote kila ahadi ni checkbook kila ahadi kuna ahadi inasema lipa uh, chakuli Fungura kumi Ni ahadi, ni checkbook. Mimi na, nafanya biashara napata dola elfu moja Sasa nataka kusaini checkbook. Nachukua dola mia moja Naambia Mungu, yoi hii checkbook naenda nikamulipe pasa chidai. Sasa ni checkbook. Napenda ninunue mlima nsiti na hii tu dola mia moja kwangu ni check sio pesa nafika na mpatia na mbea pasta uniombe kwa sababu napenda ninunue mlima nsiti eske kuna mtu anaweza kuwa na mawazo haya kusema nikanunue mlima nsiti wakati mnachuruza karanga hamuna hamuna hata na mawazo kusema kama unaweza kununua ndege na hiyo karanga unachuruza Huko tu pale tu unakuja unarudi unapata kidogo basi Mungu asante Mungu asante hapana wa America wana 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 wanauza uh, mahindi ya kukaranga huyo mahindi ya kukaranga ananunua ndege sasa hiyo ni baraka ya watoto wa Mungu amina 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 sasa huko pale kama ni ni, ni mboga mboga unaozishaka uh, unauza kwa siku unapata uh, elfu moja eh Mungu asante hapana wewe 
huko muriti wa Muliman City mara milioni moja ndio sababu lipa fata sheria ya Mungu yes. eh? lipa cha kumi eh, fungo la kumi na wakati unalipa usisa hasa uniombee kwa sababu ni malaki, malaki uh, tatu mstari wa kumi muje mulete ili vitu nyumbani kwangu nitawafungulia milango ya Mliman City kwa jinsi mupate chochote kile mnapenda ndio hiyo checkbook yenye ndugu ndugu brana manaongea endelea why kwa nini If I went into the department store kama ningeenda kwenye ile duka kubwa and they said all this is yours wakasema hii haya yote ni yako I would look on every shelf to see what belongs to me ningetizama katika kila shelf nione kuna kitu gani and the some of the things that are up high na kati ya hivi vitu ambavyo viko kule juu I couldn't hardly reach them vitu ambavyo siwezi kuvifikia I would go get me a step ladder ningeenda kupata ngazi and I get up so I could look around and find what is all about na kupanda ile ngazi ni ili nione kitu gani kile ninacho ni changa kwa mfano nilitubu zambi hiyo zambi narudia tena ni kusema ni galiko level ya chini hiyo kiwango cha chini mungu napenda nifunge sasa kifungu nitoke hapa hizi pepo zibaki hapa mimi nipande eh unafunga unaomba na unakuja kutengeneza wakati unatengeneza hapa malaika wanashuka maserafi wanakupandisha wanakupandisha ni kiwango cha juu amina na ile zambi haitarudi tena mimi wakati nilipobatizwa uh, baada ya siku uh, na sisi mwezi mmoja nikamwambia pasta pasta hakika siwezi kuwa mnafiki hapa sana nasikia kiu cha malovu malovu ni ile nani pombe ya ngazi ya mchikiki wanaweza <laughs> ya ngazi Naza pasta. Nasikia kimu. Nikani hata kidogo tu kwa sababu siwezi eh, kuiziki na bado na nini hata kidogo kuvumilia. Siwezi kuvumilia. Nini hata kidogo. Akacheka sana sana. Ah brother. Nasa ndio siwezi kuwa mnafiki. Kwa sababu tunapaswa kusema ukwe. Eh, nene nikanye kidogo. Sasa wakati ule wakati nilikuwa bado ule mzizi wa kunywa pombe ulikuwa bado hujakatwa. Me ulipokatwa sisi yake tena kiu na wakati nakuwa natumika kule Kongo ngazi za juu wakati wa wa, wa, wa siku kuu eh, ya Noeli umeya ya nini ma, makampuni zote wananifanyia nani wananifanyia zawadi wanafanya zawadi wanitumia zawadi kuna chivas whisky nini eh, pombe zote ziko utapata vituma kama kumi kama ishirini sasa watu wa, wa, watu wangu walikuwa wanasema wanacheka sasa ah, unamletea huyu haini wake hivi vitu sasa kama anyaga wapatie wengine nasema siwezi kupata watu sumu kama sinywe ni sumu sasa wapatie sumu na mna kitu amina sasa nawachukia twende na tutafuta yote inahusu nini wouldn't you do that je uweze kufanya hivyo that's the way hiyo ndio njia when we come into christ tunapokuja ndani ya kristo if something seems just a little high kama kitu fulani kinaonekana kidogo kipo juu step up in the gospel realms and find out what belongs to you panda kwenye viwango vya injili na ujue kitu gani hicho ghost mm. uh, panda panda twende ghost got a step ladder mungu anayo ngazi ya kupanda That's rich flame with glory. Ambaye inapanda kwenye kwenye utukufu. Jacob saw it one night. Yakobo aliona usiku fulani. We see angels coming up and down. Aliona malaika wakija juu na chini na kushuka chini na kupanda juu. From earth to glory. Kutoka duniani kwenda mbinguni. It's all yours. Yote ni yako hiyo. God provided it for you. Mungu ameitoa kwa ajili yako. Wale malaika wanapanda wanashuka ndio sisi. Hii ngazi yetu. Kila siku tunapanda tunashuka. Amen. Tunapanda kutafuta kama ni baisikeli tunaipata tunashuka. Amen. Kama tunahitaji kitu fulani nataka kuolewa na tafuta mume wangu. Nikupanda mule mngazi. Unapanda mule ngazi kuna mkono yako pale unachukua unashuka naye. Eh? Na niliona uh, walisema kwenye internet mwanamke mmoja mtazania yuko na kibao anaandika kwa hiyo anatafuta kuolewa. Eh, muna ukweli mule ndani. Ukweli sisi Yesu alimwambia yule mwanamke msamaria nenda kamtafute mume wako mulete hapa hiyo hiyo ni kawaida 
tunapashwa kila mume kutafuta mke wake na kila mke utafuta mume wake kupitia kutubu kutengeneza maisha tusome fetis vik uh, sisi tuko watu wa wa uh, uh, heaven heaven unisome pale sisi eh uh, no no tell it to say my face our uh, uh, is our victory 106 pale ndugu brana anasema inabidi sasa sasa uh, kukuwa na waya yenye linakuunganisha na kisima na itakukokota mpaka kukisima uh, so my face is our victory na pasta na wahubiri kazi yao ni kuwaunganisha na kisima uh, kuwaunganisha na kisima kwa jinsi mwanze kuwasiliana na kisima mpaka pale utakuwa wewe mwenyewe free wewe mwenyewe unajiendea kukisima hapana kila siku kupeleka kukisima hapana uh, ni mtoto mchanga mwenyewe tunapeleka kukisima uh, kama uh, uko mgonjwa mpaka pasta kombe hapana unaweza kuambia kama mtoto wako sawa uko hapa na nina ni brana yes unamwambia uniombe anakuombea eh yeah. niko mtoto wangu ana miaka 4 uh, mama yake aniambia Rosa sema juzi yeye yeah, hapendaki kwenda shuleni na mimi nilikuwa hivyo uh, inatoka ni kwangu nilikuwa na kimbia sasa na yeye hapendaki na siku moja mama yake sema mama mimi sienda leo sasa kwa nini Yesu hapende mambo ya shuhu <laughs> sasa juzi Juzi njo wakati wanaomba eh, usiku eh, kabla kulala asma Bwana Yesu mimi sipende kwenda shuleni kesho kesho sipendi kwenda unisaidie nisiende <laughs> Buka kucha mfua kubwa ikanyesha inanyesha na shuleni wanasema pana msiolete watoto kwa sababu uh, mambo ya mfua hiyo Sasa <laughs> yeye dada yake yeye ana miaka 4 na dada yake ana miaka 6 wakacheka wasema ah Yesu asante <laughs> Mungu anajibia maombi yote yote anajibia ili tumudhirishe kama yeye tuko naye pamoja Sasa <laughs> uh, victory mia moja na sita Sasa uh, victory imani ni ushindi wetu for they have changed with their thoughts sababu wamebadili mawazo yao of drifting around on the sea ya kuelelea tu juu ya bahari ah wakati mtu hajabatizwa yeye sawa vile meli yenyewe inaelelea tu haina nafasi ya kwenda sawa vile shetani wakati Mungu alimuuliza walikuwa mkutano juu ya Ayubu asema unachana unatokea wapi sasa natokea tu mkuelelea huku na utaona wandugu wengine ndugu unaenda wapi nenda tu kuzungumza tu kukula hewa na zunguka tu hivi hiyo ni shetani sio Mungu twende they want to come into the dock and be healed out by the master builder wanatakiwa kuja pale pwani na na kuponywa na kujengwa vizuri na yule mjenzi mkuu and made a new creature in Christ Jesus na wakafanya kiumbe kipya katika Kristo Yesu and they power in his spirit na kutiwa nguvu na roho yake governed by his will anakuongozwa na mapenzi yake so give it to them just now sasa so give it to them just now sasa witoe hiyo kwao wakati huu father as we humbly ask you in jesus name baba kwa bila tunapoomba kwa unyenyekevu kwa jina la yesu amen ni moja na sita doc ulisha misoma doc yeah okay yes. mungu anapenda uh, tuko sawa vile meli na tanga tanga sawa shetani aina na na lengo sasa ina, ina Mungu anakupatia lengo anakupatia uh, njia ya kuja kisimani Kisim, ndani ya kisima ni sawa na pwani unatengenezwa ndani ya kisima ni sawa na pwani brana anasema hivyo tena ni sawa na chumba cha daktari cha kupasua watu Tisini na ta, tisini na moja I tell you what we need tonight in America. Naambieni leo tunachohitaji usiku huu Marekani. And what we need tonight here in this tabernacle. Na kile tunahitaji usiku huu hapa kwa masani hii. Is to let Dr. Jesus come in and perform an operation on our faith. Nikumbusu Dr. Yesu kuja ndani na kufanya upasuaji katika imani yetu. Upasuaji huyu mzizi, mzizi ya imani iko humo. Ni damu ya nyoka. Sasa anapasha kufanya upasuaji. 
anakata huku anapeleka huku anatosha damu ya nyoka sawa vile wanafanya utumbo tumbo wa mbuzi kama tunataka kula tunatoshaka vile vya uchafu na mnakamata eh, aina na imani tunatosha hiyo tunakamua eh, tunakamua kukamua tunatosha uchafu baada ya hapo eh, wengine wanatia ndani wanatia nyama ya mbuzi ama wanatia eh, viungo mbalimbali mbali, mule ndani ndio hiyo mkazi Yesu anafanya katika uh, kisi, ki, uh, kisima cha utakaso endelea the doctor tells you daktari anakuambia una appendix mbaya kweli it's all poison imetiwa sumu yote it all to come out inabidi ingolewe kuna hili au lila au kitu kingine it's wrong ni kosa it's got to come out inabidi itoke well yema it takes it out to uh, so the rest of so the rest of you can function right anatoa hiyo ili mwili uliobakia uweze kufanya kazi vizuri and what the matter tonight you some faith na tatizo gani usiku wa leo na imani yetu we are afraid to let god take his operating work tunaokopa kumwachia mungu achukue neno lake la 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 kupasua his life kisu chake tuko na tatizo gani tuna tatizo ya kuongea ongea tu vitu vya hovyo mtoto wa Mungu hawezi kufika fasi anaweza kuongea eh njoo pale kwa hivi eh, nani eh, eh, kiongozi fulani akafanya hivi na hivi akafanya hivi nani vina faida gani hivyo hasiyo vitu vya mbinguni ukafika pale jamani tuombe kwanza Mungu kwamba Mungu kama wanaendelea unawaacha unaenda fasi nyingine sisi hatu Mungu alimwambia eh, Yoshua utafakari ujumbe wa Musa usiku na mchana Neno lake la kupasua kisu chake kikali kuliko upanga ulio kali kuili na kitende kazi juu yetu and tell her Zuba, zuba, huko na huko ni kosa. And we go to turn loose every shutter. Na tunakuwa wazi kwa kila eh, kila kila mlango. Eh? And we go to turn loose every Inab, shutter. Inabidi tufungue kila mlango. And they say to us go certain promise. Na kukaza mwendo kwenye eh, ahadi ya Mungu ya, 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 ya Tufungue ya. kila mlango. Kila mzizi wa zambi ni mlango wa kuzimu. Sasa mlango wa kuzimu tunapaswa kuumiliki, eh, ni vile? Tunapaswa kumiliki mlango wa kuzimu. Kuumiliki ni kuchukua sasa huyu mzizi, kutosha uchafu, kutosha mchanga, kwenda kuunganisha huko. Tunamiliki na haiwezekane eh, tuwe na zambi inyewe haiwezi kutoka. Hapana. Ni ni, ni kosa hiyo ni, ni ngambo yetu. Hatujapata ufunuo, hatujapanda ngazi ya juu tutoke mwili ngazi ya chini tupande ngazi ya juu basi nyingine ndugu brana anasema wakati uko mgonjwa toka mwili ngazi ya ugonjwa panda juu amina acha mwili na magonjwa vibaki pale amina wewe panda ni hivi Yesu alifanya wakati alikufa alikufa alikuwa ameshachukua zambi zetu zote ndani ya mwili wake na shetani akafurahi basi Yesu akaacha mwili kumsalaba. Akauacha kumsalaba, anabeba uhai wote, anatoa uhai, anapanda kule mbinguni ili mwili ufe. Wakati hamna tena uhai, mwili unakufa na zambi nayo inakufa. Amina. Hailishwe tena. Jo siri ya kuachana na mwili. Lazima tuachane na mwili. Na ndio sababu tunapaswa kila mara kufanya kifungo tuachane na mwili tupande kiwango cha juu eh endelea kufunga kufunga ni kufunga sio kifungo oh if you will do that kama utafanya hiyo Jesus will perform an operation upon our faith Mungu atafanya upasuaji juu ya imani yetu taking away all the doubt ah kiondoa mashaka yote all the fear akiondoa uoga wote and all the worry akiondoa na hofu zote all the sin akiondoa dhambi zote everything there is kila kitu kilichopo mle ndani and then when our face is clearly operated on na kama imani yetu itakuwa imeshafanywa upasuaji mzuri we come out a new creature tunatoka nje viumbe vipya we are different then tuko 
tofauti sasa we need an operation tunahitaji upasuaji can you trust jesus christ for that operation yeye unaweza kumwamini yesu kristo kwa ajili ya upasuaji ule can you believe in him yeye unaweza kumwamini yeye can you say lord god of thy word unaweza kusema bwana mungu kwa neno lako ni kusema Uh, tutoe tutoe uchafu wote ulikuwa ndani ya utumbo utumbo wa mbuzi mm. eh, tutoe ili ule utumbo utumbo uwe sasa utumbo utumbo wa imani na sasa uh, tuta, tutaendelea uh, jumapili kuona jinsi ya kuunganisha hiyo sheria process ya kuunganishwa mchakato uh, mchakato wa kuunganishwa na kisima cha utakaso uh, petro Brahma huita Dr. Petro. Amina. Uh, ni Dr. Nani? Dr. Joshua. Yesu uh, Brahma anasema Dr. Petro analeta maagizo ya daktari. Ah, uh, maagizo ya daktari kwa kuunganishwa na kisima cha utakaso. Ili Mungu Dr. aingie mule Dr. Jesus aingie ndani na afanye nani operation ya imani yetu kutosha mizizi ya shetani ilikuwa kutokuamini kuipeleka kule iwe mzizi ya Yesu inakuwa ndio imani Mungu amebariki. Hallelujah.